Hello, this is Denton Yoder, instructor for BSE 2304, the Biological Systems Engineering CAD class. Um, today I wanted to show you a few tools in the Civil 3D uh, under, the, under the Analyze Design section. We have a storm sewer, a hydrographs, an express, and a stage storage command. The storm sewer functions are uh, basically for modeling a storm sewer. Um, you have manholes and inputs um, and you define lengths of pipe and it's uh, you do need to set up your IDF curves which is uh, uh, a rainfall duration and frequency and intensity IDF. Um, and it will size your pipes and let you know what your flow capacities are and things like that. Uh, another one we'll look at is the hydrographs. Uh, the hydrographs tool is more for um, getting a time of concentration. If I choose the SCS, which is stands for Soil Conservation Service, which is now kind of replaced by NRCS, uh, National Resources Conservation Service. It'll let us do a time of concentration calculation. Uh, a typical one I used to use was a TR55, and it would give you uh, sheet, shallow, and channel flow to develop a time of concentration. Um, rational method is also in here, but these are uh, calculators for Q. You can also do pond storage and pond routing. Uh, it'll give you a stage storage curves, and you can route your hydrographs. That is all in the uh, hydroflow. Um, and there's a separate one just for stage storage. But Launch Express is the one we're going to use in class. Uh, Express lets us do uh, culvert sizing. Uh, channel calculations. Those are the two things we're going to do in class. There's also inlets, weirs, um, and Q calculations, another way of doing the SCS or the rational method. Um, in class, or I should say on the final, we are going to do culverts and channels. Uh, the idea is you put in the information about the culvert and you can run a calculation to see how the flow works. So like, for example, uh, you would be given an invert elevation, uh, invert elevation down, let's put that at uh, 1800. Uh, length of pipe, let's say it's a 30 foot pipe with on a 1%. And that calculates that the uphill is gonna be 0.3 higher. Uh, the rise, I believe that is the size of the pipe. Let's go with an 18 inch. Uh, and it tells me the units are inches. Uh, shape is circular. I could also have uh, other shapes, box culvert, elliptical arches, things like that. Um, the span is the same as the rise because it is circular. How many barrels do you want? Is it one pipe or is it more? The end value is important. If you hit F1 and search for Mannings, uh, Mannings end values, you can see what the uh, Mannings end value sizes are. So um, reinforced concrete, corrugated metal, if I'm looking at CMP, corrugated metal pipe, it'd be uh, 0.023. So I can go back and put in 0.023 and use an end value for a corrugated metal pipe. Um, Is there a head wall or is it mitered or projected at the at the beginning of the inlet? Um, top elevation. Okay. 
for water to go over the top, how deep does it have to get? If my pipe is at 1800, let's say 1810, and the width of the top, let's say it's 12 feet wide, and these would be inputs you'd have to be given. Um, the crest length, okay, let's say this is a, a driveway that the that we're calculating the pipe on. How long is this stretch where 1810 is the low elevation? Uh, and that's another input. I'm going to say 30 feet, which is going to say how much water, if it's two inches deep, how much water is going over this. Uh, I'll call it a dam if the water's going over it. I'll start with a minimum Q of zero and a maximum Q of 20 and increment by one, run my calculation, and it'll say, okay, at one, here's the flow rate, two, three, four, five. I can keep on going all the way up to 20. And at 20, I've got, I'm in inlet control, but the water is not going over the, over the bridge yet. Okay. So if I was designing for 20, I would call this a bad design because it's already flooding several feet deep. Um, the items we have in the chart down below are the, the Q information. So at 20 CFS, um, nothing's going over, but I'm getting uh, 11 feet, 11.34 feet per second. And I'm getting... Uh, 18 feet, 18 inches, well, the pipe's full. Um, do, do hydraulic grade line information. Um, if I were to say I want to go from 10 to 30, run, and drop down to 30, I'm overtopping the road. Now, what would happen if I put two barrels in here, run, go to 30, I'm not overtopping the road anymore. I can move more water. If I put three pipes in, run, now where am I at? So you get the, uh, you get the idea. Uh, the other thing I might do is say, oh, I'm going to switch to a different size pipe. Let me go with one pipe, but go with a 36-inch pipe. Okay, rise, 36. Okay, run that. Now 30 CFS, and I'm okay. I'm not, not even ponding yet. But... I've got a three foot pipe in there. Okay, so this lets you look at the flow you can get. Another calculator is a channel calculator. And you can choose what shape channel you want. A V or a trapezoidal is very typical. Uh, I'm gonna say it's one foot wide at the bottom and I'm gonna do a it separates them with semicolons. Uh, side slope, I'm going to say 3 colon 1, semicolon 3 colon 1. That gives me a 3 to 1 on each side. Uh, total depth, I want 2 feet deep. Um, invert elevation, I'm just going to go back to 1800 with a 2% slope on this. And an end value. I'll hit my F1 for help again. Mannings, list topics. Okay, now I'm in a, is it gravel? Is it earth? Is it smooth? Is it grass? Um, you know, like a Bermuda grass is going to be a real high end value, where a concrete would be a very low value. Um, and so is uh, PVC.
let's say it's uh, earth straight with some grass. So I'll say it's a 0.026. So I'll go into the Mannings, 0.026, and I can compute depth versus Q in 10 increments, run, and it says as you get deeper, and I'll go down here to 1.6, we have the Q, how much water is running, we have the area, square foot, velocity, WP is wetted perimeter, I don't even think I remember what YC is. I could hit F1 for help if I wanted. Uh, top width and energy. I think I might ask you, like, what is the wetted perimeter at a depth of 1.6? And you would have that answer. Or what is the Q at a certain depth? And you would have that answer. You can also plot the curve, which is showing you what your... Um, flow rate or Q is doing based on depth. Okay. I'm going to call that it for the Hydroflow Express. Thank you.